forecast. <laughs> this whole thing is designed around becoming better fishermen, better casters, by being more effective and more efficient. That equals enjoyment. The bronze level, you have to do seven things. We're going to go through those today. Seven different skills that we're going to do. The first one is a simple pick up and lay down cast with two false casts in it. The next one is a roll cast on your dominant side, roll cast on your non-dominant side. Then we're going to hit 20, 30, and 40 feet. Then we're going to shoot five to 10 foot a line. The last one is hit the 50 foot mark and you're able to haul with that one. In the CI training thing, we have to have good loops, period. Now it is fishing loops, whatever it takes to get to the target. They are very generous in the accuracy. Uh, put a four foot ring around this first one. I think during a hurricane, we could hit that one. <laughs> 20, 30, and 40 feet. So we've got a lot of room, so it's not, not a difficult task. What is difficult is making sure we get that fly to turn over and go straight. That is the object of what we're going to do. So the first one is nothing more than a pick up and lay down cast with two false casts. False cast. Next time, present. Boom. And you want to lay it out straight. The next task is going to be one of our more difficult ones because roll casts are meant to be done on water, but we're going to do it on dry land. Again, simple. Lift, cant the side, draw back, get enough line behind you, and do a roll cast and want it to turn over to 40 feet. It is lift, cant, draw back, forward cast, present. The next task is to do it off shoulder, same thing. Lift, cant, draw back, lift, cant, draw back, forecast, present. Now we're just going to do a simple up and down, boom. That's 20 feet. The next one is 10 feet more. So I'm going to have to move about this much line to get to that next line. A little more. Lay it down. Boom. To increase the length of the line by 10 feet, I'm going to do it by letting off approximately two and a half feet a time. When I get out there, I'm right there now. I'm going to present the fly. Next one, same thing. But so I'm going to go to 40 feet. Hit 40 feet. There it is. Lay it down. You have three attempts on each one of these. Oh, let's say I missed the second one. It's over there. I get to pick it up where I'm at and lay it back down. So if it's short or long, you add line or take away line from the system. Then we're going to do shooting line from 40 feet. I'm going to shoot five to 10 feet. So there's 10 feet, so all I have to do is half of it. Simple. Pull in 40 feet. Control my line, shoot it. Next task is going from vertical to horizontal at 40 feet. Vertical, two casts, two casts a little further down, two casts, boom. You didn't trust me, Tom. A little bit off plane, vertical down, then sidearm and present. Then the distance cast, 50 feet. Start at 40. You can double haul if you want. Boom. I think that's a little short. 
because it was there, I'm going to pull it back. This would be my second attempt. I'm off center too much. I'm going to make it on center this time. There, I hit it. So I, I get, then get the bronze deal. After we get the bronze, we work on the silver. The silver has seven tasks, and they're slightly different. And the gold has eight tasks. The different in the gold is you're hitting 70 feet, plus you're going to cast to 30 feet from a kneeling or a sitting position. You're in a pontoon boat, you're in a canoe, you're on a ca kayak, you're sitting in a drift boat. We have to hit that target. Lift, back cast, forecast, present. Lift, back cast, forecast, present. Here's the key. Our lift is up to where we're going to stop our forward cast. Back cast, forward cast, present. Okay? In other words, how is a rod loaded? There's three distinct ways. There's the tip, the middle, and the butt of the rod. If we load the tip, how much does the reel move off the ground? Not a lot of power there. If we move it to the middle of the rod, notice that the reel wants to come off the ground. Quite a bit more power. But what happens when I try to bend it down here? Wow, there's a lot. We do that three different ways. We can do it with our wrist, we can do it with our elbow, and we can do it with our shoulder joint. They all have three different, very distinct properties. Here they are. First is I'm going to use the wrist. Look at the tip. How far is it traveling? How fast is it traveling? It's bending towards the tip, right? And the tip is moving fast, point A, point B elbow. Slower, further tip travel, rod is bending deeper. But notice another thing. This angle has not changed. It was here, now it's here. I bet the next one's going to be up there when I do just the shoulder. Elbow frozen, only shoulder. Look how far that tip is moving. Quite a ways. It is slower. The rod is bending deeper. And all of a sudden, I have a little better control of my loopings. The reason is this. This tip has to go from slower to faster in a straight line. We have to manage our shoulder, our elbow, and our wrist to make all that happen. The moment this wrist moves, the cast is over because the tip has gone fast. No other joint can catch up to it. That's why we're working on drop shoulder. Drop shoulder, extend elbow a wee bit. Now I'm going to add this squeeze stop to it. Shoulder, elbow, squeeze stop. See if I can get it in real time. Boom. I now have control over that loop. 100% control. I can make it a wide loop by slowing down this, starting a little sooner, drawing a little further or I can make it really a dynamite fast, boom. It's all in how we control elbow, uh, shoulder, elbow, and wrist in what order. This rod has to respond to these different uh, fulcrum points. When we get control of that, our casts become better and easier. That's what the whole goal of this bronze challenge is, and silver and gold is to make your casting controlled. I now have a two-hand rod. Same principle. Wrist, same thing as push-pull. Pushing is the same thing as elbow casting. Pull the rod straight is that shoulder. Two-handed casting. Drop shoulder, extend elbow, squeeze stop at the end. Same way with single hand. Exact same motion. Look at that. Now, I'm sharing the work because I got this shoulder coming in and working on it. Thank you. Lift, 
can't. My angle is now set. I'm coming up to that key position. Check, line behind, elbow, it's not out here, it's not up there. Sight picture, drop elbow, squeeze. Nice loop. Present, lift, set angle by canting, up, check, 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 boom, squeeze, ooh, nice loop, present. Lift, set the angle with a slight cant, draw back, keep that angle frozen, up to the key position, drop, squeeze, stop, present. Lift, cant, draw back, up, drop, squeeze, stop, present. That's what I want you to work on. Let's go. Here's a wonderful addition to our presentation is that when we see a fish say at 40 feet, there's my line, I want to come in and torque and lay my line down by torquing. That's going to put the line on the water, it's going to unroll, and it's going to present the fly quietly to the fish. Extremely important to very still water. You cannot hover over a fish and lay it down. They see it coming, but if you do the Molson cast, all of a sudden there's a fly there. When I'm doing it is when I would normally stop, I'm taking my stop and torquing it. Hence why I do a lot of figure of eight. That's all that is.